you've tried different profiles, you've changed your retraction settings, and you're still getting stringing on your 3D prints. I have a trick that people will tell you not to do, but it works. It gets rid of the stringing. It involves a sponge, olive oil, and a little 3D print. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. First off, I'm not talking about this. This is truly a retraction issue. I'm talking about those little tiny wispy bits that'll show up on your prints like this. Here's what I use. Olive oil, an X-Acto knife, a sponge, and a 3D print. And here's the 3D print. It's a snap-on filament filter slash oiler by iDig3D. I'll put a link to this in the description below. You can print the 3D print and then run to your grocery store and find the olive oil section. I use the cheapest olive oil. This bottle lasts forever, $5.49. Then go to the sponges section. I like to get the two-sided sponge. Soft on one side, rough on the other. $3.99 for a pack of four, not bad. Once the 3D print is done, I can push it into the sponge and it leaves a nice mark so I know where to cut. Then I just use a hobby knife to slice through this. It slices real easy, just like butter but then I have to cut it away from the rough side. I like these rough sides because I use them on the beds to clean them up. So it's a two-sided two sponge that's really handy in two ways. So pull away that piece of sponge and then you need to cut that in half. Just kind of squeeze it, cut right down the middle. Now you got two halves that go into the 3D print. Make sure they fit and then we'll add the oil. So they fit good, now we need to add the oil. So I take the olive oil, flip the bottle over and then unscrew the cap. The cap will have residue on it. We only need a little bit. So I take one of the sponges, just clean that up, then do it again and do it with the other sponge. Just clean that up so I just have a little bit on each side of each sponge. Then I put those sponges in the 3D print with the oil side up. And then you can see here that the oil is slightly more yellow than the sponge. We're ready to put this on the printer. So just clip it around the filament just before the extruder position it so it's not hitting on the threaded rod and then we're going to go to the control box and we're going to preheat the hot end so we can push filament out and once that's hot then we go to the motion menu and we move the extruder we're going to move it just a hundred millimeters so we're going to run a hundred millimeters of filament through this oiler if you look closely here you can see the filament going in and the filament coming out and the filament coming out definitely has a gloss to it. That's the oil that's going to go into the PTFE tube. Then just remove it and you're ready to print. So here's an example, a real tiny amount of stringing before I oiled and after I oiled, perfectly clean. So it did a good job in this. And then an older printer that I have was really bad, had a lot of this wispy stringing before oiling. After I oiled it, very, very clean. Now this one I'm probably going to have to replace the PTFE tube, but it got me through this print. Is this a permanent fix? No, it's a quick fix, but it's an easy way to get rid of those little wispy bits that'll show up on your prints. Now, if it persists or you have to run this more often, then it's probably a sign your PTFE tube is failing. Down at the nozzle where it touches the nozzle, that area burns. The PTFE tube gets too hot and it loses its lubrication, its natural lubrication. So what I've done there is pull the PTFE tube out cut the last 20 millimeters off and then push the PTFE tube down so it touches the nozzle again and usually the problem goes away. But this is a way to fix it without having to take anything apart. And if it's still bad after you did that, probably replace the whole PTFE tube because there's probably a problem and I'd even put out a new nozzle at that point. But this is a really simple fix. It doesn't hurt your machine. 100 millimeters, you could run 200 millimeters if you want a little more lubrication, but 100 millimeters seems to work for me and just a little bit of olive oil. This bottle will last forever. And I do like these sponges because then I can use the other side for roughing up spots of the bed or cleaning things off. So it's twofold. I get sponges out of it and I get a little sandpaper action. Now if you replaced your hot end with one of those all metal hot ends, then this is definitely something recommended. It's not just a band-aid fix. When you put one on, you need to lubricate that metal, especially if you're printing PLA, because it will stick. And if you get one of those clone versions, it'll definitely stick. So I highly recommend you do the same process, just run more than 100 millimeters through if you have that all metal hot end. And do it every once in a while. If you see the stringing show up, try it. Before you change your settings or anything else, just try this on your all metal hot end, and I bet 
it clears everything up. I'm sure I'll get the typical comments that I'm going to clog my nozzle, that I'm going to mess up my hot end, that PTFE tube is a natural lubricant so I don't need to do this, but the PTFE tube burns. It burns down by the nozzle the way this is designed. And all these cheap machines seem to be copying it. They take the PTFE tube all the way down to the nozzle. It happens. So should you replace your PTFE tube at that point? Well, at least those last 20 millimeters cut them off. Yeah. But if you're printing something, you don't have time to take it apart, or you just want to get rid of those little bits, otherwise everything's working good, it's a quick fix. It doesn't hurt anything. I've been using this method for seven years. I've had no clogs, no issues. It's worked well. So if you're having problems with your retraction, just can't get that last little bit, maybe try it. It might solve your problem. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.